Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at Here I Go Again by Whitesnake. So what I've done is I've arranged that keyboard part for guitar, um, and then we're going to take a look at all the other, the actual guitar parts, that, all the riffs and chords that are done by the guitarist um, in this lesson. And then in the next lesson we're going to take a look at that guitar solo. So there's going to be a few fills in this riff video that uh, I might do some I might you know just you know not really consequential to the song but um, we'll get most of it done all the chords and little fills here and there maybe um, but and then we'll do the solo next all right so let's take a look here I'm gonna start here with just this G major chord up here in the tenth position so tenth fret on the A and then you're gonna borrow the twelfth fret on the B G and the D then the D major bar chord off the tenth fret so full bar there and you're just going to strum to the B string, so you can keep that. See, I stopped on the B string on that chord, and then here. So you got that melody note on top. All right, and then you're going to go down to a G. I mean, I'm sorry, you're going to be playing G as a melody note, but down two frets to a C. So as you strum to the B string there too, then you're going to do the melody, which is lift your pinky up, play it at the 11th fret on the G, then the 8th fret on the B, which you already have, and then 10 on the B. Now the first time you hear it, you're going to go back to the G, D, and then that's starting with the, just basically hold the chord and play the 8th fret on the B, 11 on the G, and then go to the B. So that's the... Okay, and then the vocals come in. And then we had that G to D to C with the melody. Twice. Now we're going to move around a little bit more. We're going to start with the G again. Then we're going to go to this D major, basically like this, with that F sharp in the bass. So that's 9th fret on the A, then 12th on the D, 11 on the G, 10 on the B. Next chord, you're just going to move that down, two frets. Then, now after you're playing this chord, you can, if you want, just hit the open D string. We're going to a little descending line to this A minor. We're just working our way down to the A minor. You can play that D there like I did in the intro, just as the open D, giving you time to grab the 8th fret on the low E and the 9th fret on the G together. Then the 7 on those two strings into that A minor chord at the 5th fret. So we have this. Come over here. Alright, so we got that. And we're going to move over to the D major chord off the 5th fret on the A string. So that's that bar again, just like this chord of the 10th fret now at the 5th. We have a little descending bass line to get back to the A minor. So that's 8, 7, 5 on the low E, back to the A minor. And now instead of going to D on the fifth string, we're going to go up here and play that D we did earlier. Since on the recording, you hear that high note, that high that D in there as well. So you got to come up to this version of the chord. All right, so we have. Now just move it up to 12th fret here, and we're going to do an E minor bar chord here. So way up here, just an octave up from that original. All right. I kind of pick across it to the high E string, and then you're back down to the A minor, and back to this C major we did earlier. And now we're going to do a G major instead of like this. Instead of like this, we're going to do it like this. Just play it like... We got a bar at the seventh fret here. Do a full bar at the seventh, and then you're going to play the eighth fret on the B, ninth on the D, tenth on the G. Uh, it's, well, it's the G note, tenth on the A string. Strum that, and then take it to an E minor chord. So from here. And 
you're gonna end it with A minor again, and C to D. So all together. Alright, then the keyboard just starts over again with, with the same way. And then halfway through that, we kick in some distortion. When it goes from that C to D transition real quick, we're going to have now uh, the distortion kicked in and the chorus comes in and it sounds like this. All right, so that's kind of a chorus slash pre-chorus kind of goes back, and you'll see what I mean when we start learning the other parts. But here it just starts with this power chord at the third fret on the A string. This is when the actual guitar parts come in. Up to the fifth fret. And then the actual riff starts, which is that power chord off the third fret on the low E. Twice, then back to that third fret on the A string. And back to the fifth. All right. So we have that, then you get, kind of slide down to low E, and there's a quick little two muted notes here. It's a low E open, and the fifth, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, second fret on the fifth string, or the A string. And then back to those power chords, we have this. I'll slow it down. Repeat that. This time, you go do the two muted notes and then third fret, kind of a vineyard least half step at the second fret. Then you get to an open A string that you palm just with some altered picking. You know, down, up, down, up. And then you come up here to, I like to use these two fingers, you can just use your first finger if you want, or third. But that's the fifth fret on the A, I'm sorry, the fifth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G. So you slide up to seven, and back to five. And then come up to the fifth uh, fret power chord there off the A string. And then you have this. So that's sliding from seven and nine, and then you're going to grab the two sevens on the D and the G. So we have this. And then, so you open A, three, two, zero again. Kind of muted. Start over. And then this time you're going to end it with this. When you get to the D, instead of doing this, you're going to go three, five. All right, and then we basically get to the verse. Uh, now this is usually on a clean tone, but I'll do it with some distortion. All right, so it kind of quickly goes back to that kind of pre-chorus type thing. So that's the low G here, that's on the third fret on the low E string and then the open G string with it. So you kind of hybrid pick those, pick the bottom one, middle finger grabs that open G string, and then you're gonna grab the fourth fret on the D, back to that open G. Now pick again, but this time pick the thir second fret on the D string with that low third fret. And then, and then 
back to the fourth on the D, open G, back to that four. So it kind of creating some dissonance there. Repeat. Then hit the two strings, and then down to the second fret on the low E, open E, and then three, two, three, two, zero on the A string. And then you're back. Part you did before. Same beginning to the chorus. All right, so. From there, we pretty much all we need to take a look at is that bridge section, which has a couple of fills in it uh, that we weren't really do. They're not very high in the mix or anything like that. But this comes right before the solo, and it sounds like this. All right, and that leads to the solo. So we're basically doing low E open and then this big E power chord, which is gonna be a bar to the second fret across the fifth and fourth string. Then the fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the B, and then you're gonna let the high E string ring open. All right, then three, uh, zero, three, zero on the low E string, muted to the A power chord. With it. Then the, the, that's the second fret on the G string with the pinch harmonic, some vibrato on it, and then you're gonna three two zero the low E, and back to that big E chord. Same transition to the A. Now the fill you're gonna do here is the, the harmonic and go, and that's the third, second fret on the G, third fret on the B. Take those two notes. Slide up two frets, hit it twice, back down, then back to the three two zero. Big E, back to that A, and three two zero again. A, then third fret, fifth fret power chord. All together for the bridge, real quick. Alright, so the real fun in this song is the solo, so I'll see you in the next lesson for that one.